how to build a French drain without fabric that will last. I'm going to go over that right now. So we like to use larger aggregate because it creates more void. And what that does is it moves more air and more water. I like an aggregate that dries out because if the aggregate stays wet all the time, the tree roots are going to love it and they're going to grow in it and they're going to be really happy. So we don't want that. But I'm going to show you how you can build a French drain without fabric that will last. And obviously I'll tell you the consequences to that. So, all right. So we love a good drainage fabric. That way we can just throw the pipe on the fabric. I don't have to put any stone under it. And then we could use stone that's a little bit larger in size. It's a mix right here. You can see a, it's probably three quarter stone on up to inch and a half. You know, nice round rock. It doesn't compact. It's going to flow water really nice for me. And it's going to dry out. I don't have to worry about this staying damp and staying wet. I want any tree roots that try to get in there to be discouraged. If they make it in there during the drought season, I want them to dry out, fall off, and become dust in the wind. So let's talk about no fabric. So you, you watched a couple videos on YouTube, and now you're terrified of the fabric. That's fine. We'll show you how to build a French drain with no fabric that will last. All right, so the larger stone, it's out. You took that option off the table when you took fabric off the table. If you have a really good fabric, a good soil separator, you can use larger stone. All right, so we have to build a stone filter zone. So what does that mean? We have to use small stone. Now, I have bought pea stone in gravel trains and dump trucks. But for this example, we're just going to take some bags. Do you see how small that stone is versus the stone that we typically use? So I have dug up many basement drains on older homes where they have clay tiles and they're done with pea stone. And they look as good as the day they were installed. You have a nice pea stone, small, tiny round rock, fantastic soil filter right here. Fantastic. That's what you need. A good stone filter zone, and that requires tiny stone. You can't go on up to this stone that we use. Again, taking the fabric out of this equation, you've lost that luxury if you want to build something that lasts. So you go ahead and you get yourself... A good stone filter zone. I mean, I'd like to see four inches of pea stone under this pipe if you're not going to use fabric. There you go. Now, the rest of the drain has to be in pea stone. Now, I would recommend not using perforations that are opened up as much as our eight slot. You're going to want to go with something that has a finer, you know, saw cut perforation because you downsize to a very small fine stone. So you don't want this to fill up and the aggregate to get stuck and plug all these inlets. So you have to use the right pipe. Knife cut pipe would work fantastic. It's a really good pipe for this. Now you have to put all pea stone, which you can buy in dump truck loads, train loads, and again, certain jobs that we've done, we'll order it by the train. All right, so you want to surround the pipe with a good stone filter zone because you're not using the fabric. You've made that determination because you've probably seen some videos that misled you, and it's probably because they were made by people that didn't have the knowledge to install it correctly, so they ended up with poor result. So here you go, a lot of really small pebbles. You want at least four inches under the pipe. I prefer... I really do prefer eight inches on top of the pipe because you're going to throw dirt right on top of the pea stone and you're not going to put any soil separator. And then I still like a wide trench. I'll always like a wide trench. I feel more stone, the better the French drain. So I'm always going to tell you that it needs to be 14 inches wide. But this is how you build a French drain system that lasts a long, long time. Now, here's the one catch. 
if you're building a yard drain like this, this is going to stay damp. It never dries out. Tree roots are going to absolutely love this. They're so happy when they find a vein, a pea stone. If the root doesn't dry out and fall off and air prune, you end up with a thriving, happy tree. So that's why we don't do this in yard drains. I'm making this video because the people that are misleading others about fabric are telling them to buy number 57 stone and a bunch of larger stones that you absolutely cannot use when you don't use a soil separator. You need a good stone filter zone. It has to be small. So here's your French drain if you're not going to use a non-woven geotextile filter fabric. This will last a while until the tree roots, of course, and shrub roots, you know, start getting inside the pea stone. I don't recommend this for yard drains. I don't. And I will do a follow-up video explaining how to make fabric work in some of the clays that you might be concerned about. All right, everybody. If you're enjoying the videos that I'm making to help educate everybody so that they have more success and great success with their DIY projects, give me a thumbs up. It supports the channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.